Knowledge management tools are important systems in the IT world that transfer abnormal brains into hulking beasts for the furthering of science and the progression of humanity as a whole. Okay, not, not really, but that's definitely what I think of whenever I hear the term. Hi, I'm Kyle, and today we're going to talk about what knowledge management tools actually are, why they're important, and then go into some of the main categories of knowledge management tools that you can find out there today. If you'd like more info on this topic, check out our website at technologyadvice.com for our article on knowledge management tools. Click the annotation in the top right corner of your screen to get started. And if you find this video helpful, or even if you just like my doodle animations, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Knowledge management refers to all the ways a company organizes and updates its systems and process intelligence. It originally only included the company's internal knowledge, but the definition was soon expanded to include important documents and knowledge from outside of the organization that inform how the company does business. For many remote teams, a knowledge management platform or tool is how employees access critical knowledge and process documentation that helps them do their jobs without bugging their teammates. It's much easier and more efficient to reference a detailed document of instructions and follow up with specific questions than it is to schedule a full training session. Knowledge management can be divided into four main areas. Content. How can I access my organization's data and information? This includes policies, procedures, handbooks, and process documents. Expertise location. Who can I talk to? Who would know the answer to my question? This information is found in org charts and directories. Lessons learned. How do I do this specific process? Documentation of practices, passes on tips and strategies, so new people who engage with or touch the product or information don't need direct access to the previous knowledge holders. Communities of practice. How can I better collaborate with my team? Collaboration tools facilitate interaction between teams of similar functions and interests. An additional benefit of knowledge management software is the reduction of brain drain caused by workforce reductions and turnover. Documenting what tools and processes you have, how they're used, and why you use them over alternatives can save future teams lots of headaches. Now, this is great and good and all, but why does it matter? Do you really need a knowledge management tool in place at your company? Knowledge management matters because the median time at a job currently is 4.1 years. With turnover that quick, it is imperative that your company has a handle on all the information so it's not locked away in silos that disappear when those four years are up. You don't want to lose important things like database access, CRM workflows, customer interactions, marketing campaigns, manufacturing processes, or HR onboarding info. There are six main categories of knowledge management tools that are available today with some overlap between the main features. There's AI-powered content suggestion, project management or collaboration tools, wikis, learning management systems, HRM tools, and file sharing tools. Let's dig into each of these a bit more. AI solutions for knowledge management use pattern matching and context to understand what kinds of content sales, customer support, and other roles might need to answer a question at any given moment. Think of these like a geeked up, super powered version of Clippy, the old digital Microsoft Assistant. They parse the work, emails, or questions you deal with, and then suggest documents to share or reference in return. Many of these tools are designed to support internal teams and external ones like customer service, but can be used across the company. A few options that fall under this category are Guru, BMC Helix, and Zoho Desk. For very small businesses and startups where everyone works with the same limited set of tools, having a single project management or collaboration tool with a document management storage can work as an effective knowledge management system. Make a project for company documentation, share it with all users, and place all process documentation, policy notes, and company-wide memos there. We have a whole playlist of PM tools you can check out, but a few of the ones that excel specifically with knowledge management are Confluence, Basecamp, and ProProfs. Wikis are websites that can act as a small library of documents. These can either be accessed via a browser or through a company intranet. The best known public wiki out there is Wikipedia, but you can also make a smaller version that acts as a private wiki just for your company's information. Companies that offer wiki software help you create and customize a wiki collaboratively. Wikis usually have robust search functionality and support not just text documents but images and videos too. Free and paid wiki companies host your wiki on their servers and help you build your site. Alternatively, you can use some other less conventional methods like building a website from scratch to house all of your documentation. Some top options include Guru, ProProfs, TikiWiki, PMWiki, and MediaWiki. 
You use your LMS for training new employees and furthering education for existing employees, so why not use it for knowledge management? A learning management systems can provide your team with document management in a familiar searchable interface. Let your LMS pull double duty and load your process documentation and employee handbooks into the system alongside department-specific trainings. Some great options for LMS that also double for knowledge management, ProProfs, Talent LMS, or Litmus. Although many small businesses and startups put off hiring a dedicated HR professional, it's likely that human resource management tools will be an investment you make soon after hiring your second or third employee. Many of these tools also offer file management systems where you can upload your important docs like benefits explanations, employee handbooks, and other policy documents. Admittedly, HR software doesn't feel like the most logical place to put process documents at first glance, but since most companies offload large aspects of employee training to HR, having process and training documentation in the same space as your employee handbook may make those first couple of days easier on all employees. Some HR systems that would work well with this approach, namely Bloomfire or Zenefits. That wraps up our explanation on knowledge management tools. Hope you found it useful. And if you want to help out, please give us a like and a subscription down below. For more information on this topic, visit our website at technologyadvice.com for our article on knowledge management tools. Click the button on the left to get started.